And welcome back to Square Off. And it's on to November. After last week's primaries, the general election campaign is here. And we're focusing on two matchups this morning, Arizona's U.S. Senate race and the surprising 6th Congressional District, a once safe Republican seat in the Northeast Valley, now rated a toss-up. Joining us, Julie Erfley, Democratic Communications Consultant at Erfley Uncuffed, and Kirk Adams, former Republican House Speaker and Chief of Staff to Governor Doug Ducey, now at Concilium Consulting. Welcome to you both. Thank you for having uh, us. Are there any, uh, Julie, I'll start with you and then Kirk, are there any disclosures about any connections you may have to the Senate or CD6 races? Julie? No. no. Kirk, nope. no? Okay, great. Let's move on. So let's start with CD6. Five-term Republican David Schweikert admitted to 11 ethics violations. He was reprimanded by the full House, a very rare vote. He'll face Dr. Hiral Tipperneni, unsuccessful in CD8 two years ago, now running a well-funded campaign in CD6. She won the primary. Cook Political Report said late in the week it is a toss-up. Kirk Adams, do you buy that? Look, I think um, if there ever was an election cycle that Tipperini could win in this district, this is the one. There's a few things she needs. First off, she needs a wave election. Uh, second, I think she's going to need to educate the voters, both through paid and earned media, about the ethics charges against David Schweikert. And the third thing I think she has to do is I think she has to convince voters that she's a Democrat more in line, say, with the Kirsten Cinema or Mark Kelly rather than the AOC and sort of the progressive left of the party. If she does those things, I think this could be a close race. That's interesting. Julie, uh, Hiral Tipperneni has run as a progressive in the past. Could that be a problem for her in this race? I believe I it could. This run. is still a right-leaning district. Okay, I'm going uh, to now toss it to Julie. Uh, do you think being a progressive could be a record, could be a problem for Harold Tipperneni in this race? I don't think her record is really all that progressive, to be totally honest. I don't think it's out of line with CD6. Um, and I agree with Kirk about what she needs to do with one caveat. I worry that she may get too caught up in trying to explain the ethics violations and that Arizona voters are going to think, well, Yes, he had these ethics violations, but he works in Congress, and who isn't ethically challenged in Congress? So I think she needs to really focus in on the most egregious parts of that, uh, the possibility that he may have used campaign funds to personally enrich himself. I think that needs to be a focus. But also she really needs to focus right now on the fact that she is a doctor, and we have a pandemic, and we have a healthcare system that needs additional support. We have so many Arizonans right now who are finding themselves without health care. She is uniquely positioned right now, I think, with this pandemic to be able to focus in on her background. And I think that makes her a very attractive candidate and the fact that she's raised quite a bit of money. I just want to throw in some data points. The district was plus 10 for Trump in 2016, plus 10 for Schweikert in 2018, but... Maybe to your point, Kirk, Kirsten Cinema, Democrat, lost it by just three and a half in 2018. Democrats are the fastest growing registration. This is also